This audio is to outline the MITRE DEFEND tactics, techniques and the meaning of these techniques. Please subscribe and like for more content. The tactics of MITRE DEFEND include, harden, detect, isolate, deceive, evict. The techniques of MITRE DEFEND are as follows. In the harden tactic the techniques are application hardening, credential hardening, message hardening and platform hardening. In the detect tactic the techniques are file analysis. Identifier analysis, message analysis, network traffic analysis, platform monitoring, process analysis, and user behavior analysis. In the isolate tactic, the techniques are execution isolation and network isolation. In the deceive tactic, the techniques are decoy environment and decoy object. In evict tactic, the techniques are credential eviction and process eviction. Now, the tactics, techniques, as well as their definitions are as follows Harden tactic. Message hardening technique. Message authentication technique. The definition of message authentication technique is authenticating the sender of a message and ensuring message integrity. Authenticating the sender of a message and ensuring message integrity. Message encryption technique. The definition of message encryption technique is encrypting a message body using a cryptographic key. Encrypting a message body using a cryptographic key. Transfer agent authentication technique. The definition of transfer agent authentication technique is validating that server components of a messaging infrastructure are authorized to send a particular message. Validating that server components of a messaging infrastructure are authorized to send a particular message. Harden tactic. Credential hardening technique. Biometric authentication technique. The definition of biometric authentication technique is using biological measures in order to authenticate a user. Using biological measures in order to authenticate a user. Certificate-based authentication technique. The definition of certificate-based authentication technique is requiring a digital certificate in order to authenticate a user. Requiring a digital certificate in order to authenticate a user. Certificate pinning technique. The definition of certificate pinning technique is persisting either a server's X509 certificate or their public key and comparing that to server's presented identity to allow for greater client confidence in the remote server's identity for SSL connections. Persisting either a server's X509 certificate or their public key and comparing that to server's presented identity to allow for greater client confidence in the remote server's identity for SSL connections. Credential transmission scoping technique. The definition of credential transmission scoping technique is limiting the transmission of a credential to a scope set of relying parties. Limiting the transmission of a credential to a scope set of relying parties. Domain trust policy technique. The definition of domain trust policy technique is restricting interdomain trust by modifying domain configuration. Restricting interdomain trust by modifying domain configuration. Multi-factor authentication technique. The definition of multi-factor authentication technique is requiring proof of two or more pieces of evidence in order to authenticate a user. Requiring proof of two or more pieces of evidence in order to authenticate a user. One-time password technique. The definition of one-time password technique is a one-time password is valid for only one user authentication. A one-time password is valid for only one user authentication. Strong password policy technique. The definition of strong password policy technique is modifying system configuration to increase password strength. Modifying system configuration to increase password strength. User account permissions technique. The definition of user account permissions technique is restricting a user account's access to resources. Restricting a user account's access to resources. Harden tactic. Platform hardening technique. Bootloader authentication technique. The definition of bootloader authentication technique is cryptographically authenticating the bootloader software before system boot. Cryptographically authenticating the bootloader software before system boot. Disk encryption technique. The definition of disk encryption technique is encrypting a hard disk partition to prevent clear text access to a file system. Encrypting a hard disk partition to prevent clear text access to a file system. Driver load integrity checking technique. The definition of driver load integrity checking technique is ensuring the integrity of drivers loaded during initialization of the operating system. Ensuring the integrity of drivers loaded during initialization of the operating system. File encryption technique. The definition of file encryption technique is encrypting a file using a cryptographic key. Encrypting a file using a cryptographic key. Local file permissions technique. The definition of local file permissions technique is restricting access to a local file by configuring operating system functionality. 
restricting access to a local file by configuring operating system functionality. RF shielding technique. The definition of RF shielding technique is adding physical barriers to a platform to prevent undesired radio interference. Adding physical barriers to a platform to prevent undesired radio interference. Software update technique. The definition of software update technique is replacing old software on a computer system component. Replacing old software on a computer system component. System configuration permissions technique. The definition of system configuration permissions technique is restricting system configuration modifications to a specific user or group of users. Restricting system configuration modifications to a specific user or group of users. TPM boot integrity technique. The definition of TPM boot integrity technique is assuring the integrity of a platform by demonstrating that the boot process starts from a trusted combination of hardware and software and continues until the operating system has fully booted and applications are running. Sometimes called static root of trust measurement, STRM. Assuring the integrity of a platform by demonstrating that the boot process starts from a trusted combination of hardware and software and continues until the operating system has fully booted and applications are running. Sometimes called static root of trust measurement, STRM. Harden tactic. Application hardening technique. Application configuration hardening technique. The definition of application configuration hardening technique is modifying an application's configuration to reduce its attack surface. Modifying an application's configuration to reduce its attack surface. Dead code elimination technique. The definition of dead code elimination technique is removing unreachable or dead code from compiled source code. Removing unreachable or dead code from compiled source code. Exception handler pointer validation technique. The definition of exception handler pointer validation technique is validates that a referenced exception handler pointer is a valid exception handler. Validates that a referenced exception handler pointer is a valid exception handler. Pointer authentication technique. The definition of pointer authentication technique is comparing the cryptographic hash or derivative of a pointer's value to an expected value. Comparing the cryptographic hash or derivative of a pointer's value to an expected value. Process segment execution prevention technique. The definition of process segment execution prevention technique is preventing execution of any address in a memory region other than the code segment. Preventing execution of any address in a memory region other than the code segment. Segment address offset randomization technique. The definition of segment address offset randomization technique is randomizing the base, start, address of one or more segments of memory during the initialization of a process. Randomizing the base, start, address of one or more segments of memory during the initialization of a process. Stack frame canary validation technique. The definition of stack frame canary validation technique is comparing a value stored in a stack frame with a known good value in order to prevent or detect a memory segment overwrite. Comparing a value stored in a stack frame with a known good value in order to prevent or detect a memory segment overwrite. Detect tactic. Network traffic analysis technique. Administrative Network Activity Analysis Technique The definition of Administrative Network Activity Analysis Technique is detection of unauthorized use of administrative network protocols by analyzing network activity against a baseline. Detection of unauthorized use of administrative network protocols by analyzing network activity against a baseline. Byte Sequence Emulation Technique The definition of Byte Sequence Emulation Technique is analyzing sequences of bytes and determining if they likely represent malicious shellcode. Analyzing sequences of bytes and determining if they likely represent malicious shellcode. Certificate analysis technique. Active certificate analysis technique. The definition of active certificate analysis technique is actively collecting PKI certificates by connecting to the server and downloading its server certificates for analysis. Actively collecting PKI certificates by connecting to the server and downloading its server certificates for analysis. Passive certificate analysis technique. The definition of passive certificate analysis technique is collecting host certificates from network traffic or other passive sources like a certificate transparency log and analyzing them for unauthorized activity. Collecting host certificates from network traffic or other passive sources like a certificate transparency log and analyzing them for unauthorized activity. Client server payload profiling technique. The definition of client server payload profiling technique is comparing client server request and response payloads to a baseline profile to identify outliers. Comparing client server request and response payloads to a baseline profile to identify outliers. Connection attempt analysis technique. The definition of connection attempt analysis technique is analyzing failed connections in a network to detect unauthorized activity.
analyzing failed connections in a network to detect unauthorized activity. DNS Traffic Analysis Technique The definition of DNS Traffic Analysis Technique is analysis of domain name metadata, including name and DNS records, to determine whether the domain is likely to resolve to an undesirable host. Analysis of domain name metadata, including name and DNS records, to determine whether the domain is likely to resolve to an undesirable host. File Carving Technique The definition of file carving technique is identifying and extracting files from network application protocols through the use of network stream reassembly software. Identifying and extracting files from network application protocols through the use of network stream reassembly software. Inbound Session Volume Analysis Technique The definition of inbound session volume analysis technique is analyzing inbound network session or connection attempt volume. Analyzing inbound network session or connection attempt volume. IPC Traffic Analysis Technique The definition of IPC Traffic Analysis Technique is analyzing standard inter-process communication, IPC, protocols to detect deviations from normal protocol activity. Analyzing standard inter-process communication, IPC, protocols to detect deviations from normal protocol activity. Network Traffic Community Deviation Technique The definition of network traffic community deviation technique is establishing baseline communities of network hosts and identifying statistically divergent inter-community communication. Establishing baseline communities of network hosts and identifying statistically divergent inter-community communication. Per host download upload ratio analysis technique. The definition of per host download upload ratio analysis technique is detecting anomalies that indicate malicious activity by comparing the amount of data downloaded versus data uploaded by a host. Detecting anomalies that indicate malicious activity by comparing the amount of data downloaded versus data uploaded by a host. Protocol Metadata Anomaly Detection Technique The definition of protocol metadata anomaly detection technique is collecting network communication protocol metadata and identifying statistical outliers. Collecting network communication protocol metadata and identifying statistical outliers. Relay Pattern Analysis Technique The definition of relay pattern analysis technique is the detection of an internal host relaying traffic between the internal network and the external network. The detection of an internal host relaying traffic between the internal network and the external network. Remote terminal session detection technique. The definition of remote terminal session detection technique is detection of an unauthorized remote live terminal console session by examining network traffic to a network host. Detection of an unauthorized remote live terminal console session by examining network traffic to a network host. RPC Traffic Analysis Technique The definition of RPC Traffic Analysis Technique is monitoring the activity of remote procedure calls and communication traffic to establish standard protocol operations and potential attacker activities. Monitoring the activity of remote procedure calls and communication traffic to establish standard protocol operations and potential attacker activities. Detect Tactic Platform Monitoring Technique Firmware Behavior Analysis Technique The definition of firmware behavior analysis technique is analyzing the behavior of embedded code in firmware and looking for anomalous behavior and suspicious activity. Analyzing the behavior of embedded code in firmware and looking for anomalous behavior and suspicious activity. Firmware Embedded Monitoring Code Technique The definition of firmware embedded monitoring code technique is monitoring code is injected into firmware for integrity monitoring of firmware and firmware data. Monitoring code is injected into firmware for integrity monitoring of firmware and firmware data. Firmware verification technique. Peripheral firmware verification technique. The definition of peripheral firmware verification technique is cryptographically verifying peripheral firmware integrity. Cryptographically verifying peripheral firmware integrity. System Firmware Verification Technique The definition of system firmware verification technique is cryptographically verifying installed system firmware integrity. Cryptographically verifying installed system firmware integrity. Operating System Monitoring Technique Endpoint Health Beacon Technique The definition of endpoint health beacon technique is monitoring the security status of an endpoint by sending periodic messages with health status, where absence of a response may indicate that the endpoint has been compromised. Monitoring the security status of an endpoint by sending periodic messages with health status, where absence of a response may indicate that the endpoint has been compromised. Input Device Analysis Technique The definition of input device analysis technique is operating system-level mechanisms to prevent abusive input device exploitation. Operating system-level mechanisms to prevent abusive input device exploitation. Memory Boundary Tracking Technique 
The definition of memory boundary tracking technique is analyzing a call stack for return addresses which point to unexpected memory locations. Analyzing a call stack for return addresses which point to unexpected memory locations. Scheduled job analysis technique. The definition of scheduled job analysis technique is analysis of source files, processes, destination files, or destination servers associated with a scheduled job to detect unauthorized use of job scheduling. Analysis of source files, processes, destination files, or destination servers associated with a scheduled job to detect unauthorized use of job scheduling. System daemon monitoring technique. The definition of system daemon monitoring technique is tracking changes to the state or configuration of critical system level processes. Tracking changes to the state or configuration of critical system level processes. System file analysis technique. Service binary verification technique. The definition of service binary verification technique is analyzing changes in service binary files by comparing to a source of truth. Analyzing changes in service binary files by comparing to a source of truth. System init config analysis technique. The definition of system init config analysis technique is analysis of any system process startup configuration. Analysis of any system process startup configuration. User session init config analysis technique. The definition of user session init config analysis technique is analyzing modifications to user session config files such as bash or bash underscore profile. Analyzing modifications to user session config files such as bash or bash underscore profile. Detect tactic. Process analysis technique. Database query string analysis technique. The definition of database query string analysis technique is analyzing database queries to detect SQL injection https colon slash slash kpec.mitre.org slash data slash definition slash 66.html. Analyzing database queries to detect SQL injection https colon slash slash kpec.mitre.org slash data slash definition slash 66.html. File access pattern analysis technique. The definition of file access pattern analysis technique is analyzing the files accessed by a process to identify unauthorized activity. Analyzing the files accessed by a process to identify unauthorized activity. Indirect branch call analysis technique. The definition of indirect branch call analysis technique is analyzing vendor-specific branch call recording in order to detect ROP-style attacks. Analyzing vendor-specific branch call recording in order to detect ROP-style attacks. Process Code Segment Verification Technique The definition of Process Code Segment Verification Technique is comparing the text or code memory segments to a source of truth. Comparing the text or code memory segments to a source of truth. Process Self-Modification Detection Technique The definition of Process Self-Modification Detection Technique is detects processes that modify, change, or replace their own code at runtime. Detects processes that modify, change, or replace their own code at runtime. Process Spawn Analysis Technique Process Lineage Analysis Technique The definition of Process Lineage Analysis Technique is identification of suspicious processes executing on an endpoint device by examining the ancestry and siblings of a process, and the associated metadata of each node on the tree, such as process execution, duration, and order relative to siblings and ancestors. Identification of suspicious processes executing on an endpoint device by examining the ancestry and siblings of a process, and the associated metadata of each node on the tree, such as process execution, duration, and order relative to siblings and ancestors. Script Execution Analysis Technique The definition of script execution analysis technique is analyzing the execution of a script to detect unauthorized user activity. Analyzing the execution of a script to detect unauthorized user activity. Shadow Stack Comparisons Technique The definition of Shadow Stack Comparisons Technique is comparing a call stack in system memory with a shadow call stack maintained by the processor to determine unauthorized shellcode activity. Comparing a call stack in system memory with a shadow call stack maintained by the processor to determine unauthorized shellcode activity. System Call Analysis Technique File Creation Analysis Technique The definition of file creation analysis technique is analyzing the properties of file create system call invocations. Analyzing the properties of file create system call invocations. Detect tactic. Message analysis technique. Sender MTA reputation analysis technique. The definition of sender MTA reputation analysis technique is characterizing the reputation of mail transfer agents, MTA, to determine the security risk in emails.
characterizing the reputation of mail transfer agents, MTA, to determine the security risk in emails. Sender Reputation Analysis Technique The definition of sender reputation analysis technique is ascertaining sender reputation based on information associated with a message, for example email slash instant messaging. Ascertaining sender reputation based on information associated with a message, for example email slash instant messaging. Detect Tactic Identifier Analysis Technique Homoglyph Detection Technique The definition of homoglyph detection technique is comparing strings using a variety of techniques to determine if a deceptive or malicious string is being presented to a user. Comparing strings using a variety of techniques to determine if a deceptive or malicious string is being presented to a user. URL Analysis Technique The definition of URL analysis technique is determining if a URL is benign or malicious by analyzing the URL or its components. Determining if a URL is benign or malicious by analyzing the URL or its components. Detect Tactic User Behavior Analysis Technique Authentication Event Thresholding Technique The definition of authentication event thresholding technique is collecting authentication events, creating a baseline user profile, and determining whether authentication events are consistent with the baseline profile. Collecting authentication events, creating a baseline user profile, and determining whether authentication events are consistent with the baseline profile. Authorization Event Thresholding Technique The definition of authorization event thresholding technique is collecting authorization events, creating a baseline user profile, and determining whether authorization events are consistent with the baseline profile. Collecting authorization events, creating a baseline user profile, and determining whether authorization events are consistent with the baseline profile. Credential Compromise Scope Analysis Technique The definition of credential compromise scope analysis technique is determining which credentials may have been compromised by analyzing the user logon history of a particular system. Determining which credentials may have been compromised by analyzing the user logon history of a particular system. Domain account monitoring technique. The definition of domain account monitoring technique is monitoring the existence of or changes to domain user accounts. Monitoring the existence of or changes to domain user accounts. Job Function Access Pattern Analysis Technique The definition of Job Function Access Pattern Analysis Technique is detecting anomalies in user access patterns by comparing user access activity to behavioral profiles that categorize users by role such as job title, function, department. Detecting anomalies in user access patterns by comparing user access activity to behavioral profiles that categorize users by role such as job title, function, department. Local Account Monitoring Technique The definition of local account monitoring technique is analyzing local user accounts to detect unauthorized activity. Analyzing local user accounts to detect unauthorized activity. Resource access pattern analysis technique. The definition of resource access pattern analysis technique is analyzing the resources accessed by a user to identify unauthorized activity. Analyzing the resources accessed by a user to identify unauthorized activity. Session duration analysis technique. The definition of session duration analysis technique is analyzing the duration of user sessions in order to detect unauthorized activity. Analyzing the duration of user sessions in order to detect unauthorized activity. User data transfer analysis technique. The definition of user data transfer analysis technique is analyzing the amount of data transferred by a user. Analyzing the amount of data transferred by a user. User geolocation logon pattern analysis technique. The definition of user geolocation logon pattern analysis technique is monitoring geolocation data of user logon attempts and comparing it to a baseline user behavior profile to identify anomalies in logon location. Monitoring geolocation data of user logon attempts and comparing it to a baseline user behavior profile to identify anomalies in logon location. Web Session Activity Analysis Technique The definition of web session activity analysis technique is monitoring changes in user web session behavior by comparing current web session activity to a baseline behavior profile or a catalog of predetermined malicious behavior. Monitoring changes in user web session behavior by comparing current web session activity to a baseline behavior profile or a catalog of predetermined malicious behavior. Detect tactic. File analysis technique. Dynamic analysis technique. The definition of dynamic analysis technique is executing or opening a file in a synthetic sandbox environment to determine if the file is a malicious program or if the file exploits another program such as a document reader. Executing or opening a file in a synthetic sandbox environment to determine if the file is a malicious program or if the file exploits another program such as a document reader.
Emulated File Analysis Technique The definition of emulated file analysis technique is emulating instructions in a file looking for specific patterns. Emulating instructions in a file looking for specific patterns. File Content Rules Technique The definition of file content rules technique is employing a pattern matching rule language to analyze files. Employing a pattern matching rule language to analyze files. File Hashing Technique The definition of file hashing technique is employing file hash comparisons to detect known malware. Employing file hash comparisons to detect known malware. Isolate Tactic Network Isolation Technique Broadcast Domain Isolation Technique The definition of broadcast domain isolation technique is broadcast isolation restricts the number of computers a host can contact on their LAN. Broadcast isolation restricts the number of computers a host can contact on their LAN. DNS allow listing technique. The definition of DNS allow listing technique is permitting only approved domains and their subdomains to be resolved. Permitting only approved domains and their subdomains to be resolved. DNS deny listing technique. Forward resolution domain deny listing technique. Hierarchical Domain Deny Listing Technique The definition of Hierarchical Domain Deny Listing Technique is blocking the resolution of any subdomain of a specified domain name. Blocking the resolution of any subdomain of a specified domain name. Homoglyph Deny Listing Technique The definition of Homoglyph Deny Listing Technique is blocking DNS queries that are deceptively similar to legitimate domain names. Blocking DNS queries that are deceptively similar to legitimate domain names. Forward Resolution IP Deny Listing Technique The definition of Forward Resolution IP Deny Listing Technique is blocking a DNS lookup's answer's IP address value. Blocking a DNS lookup's answer's IP address value. Reverse Resolution Domain Deny Listing Technique The definition of Reverse Resolution Domain Deny Listing Technique is blocking a Reverse DNS lookup's answer's domain name value. Blocking a Reverse DNS lookup's answer's domain name value. Reverse Resolution IP Deny Listing Technique The definition of Reverse Resolution IP Deny Listing Technique is blocking a reverse lookup based on the query's IP address value. Blocking a reverse lookup based on the query's IP address value. Encrypted Tunnels Technique The definition of Encrypted Tunnels Technique is Encrypted Encapsulation of Routable Network Traffic. Encrypted Encapsulation of Routable Network Traffic. Inbound Traffic Filtering Technique The definition of inbound traffic filtering technique is restricting network traffic originating from untrusted networks destined towards a private host or enclave. Restricting network traffic originating from untrusted networks destined towards a private host or enclave. Outbound traffic filtering technique. The definition of outbound traffic filtering technique is restricting network traffic originating from a private host or enclave destined towards untrusted networks. Restricting network traffic originating from a private host or enclave destined towards untrusted networks. Isolate tactic. Execution isolation technique. Executable allow listing technique. The definition of executable allow listing technique is using a digital signature to authenticate a file before opening. Using a digital signature to authenticate a file before opening. Executable deny listing technique. The definition of executable deny listing technique is blocking the execution of files on a host in accordance with defined application policy rules. Blocking the execution of files on a host in accordance with defined application policy rules. Hardware-based process isolation technique. The definition of hardware-based process isolation technique is preventing one process from writing to the memory space of another process through hardware-based address manager implementations. Preventing one process from writing to the memory space of another process through hardware-based address manager implementations. IO port restriction technique. The definition of IO port restriction technique is limiting access to computer input slash output, IO, ports to restrict unauthorized devices. Limiting access to computer input slash output, IO, ports to restrict unauthorized devices. Kernel-based process isolation technique. Mandatory access control technique. The definition of mandatory access control technique is controlling access to local computer system resources with kernel-level capabilities. Controlling access to local computer system resources with kernel-level capabilities. System call filtering technique. The definition of system call filtering technique is configuring a kernel to use an allow or deny list to filter kernel API calls. Configuring a kernel to use an allow or deny list to filter kernel API calls. Deceive tactic. Decoy Environment Technique Connected Hunanet Technique 
The definition of connected HunaNet technique is a decoy service, system, or environment, that is connected to the enterprise network, and simulates or emulates certain functionality to the network, without exposing full access to a production system. A decoy service, system, or environment, that is connected to the enterprise network, and simulates or emulates certain functionality to the network, without exposing full access to a production system. Integrated HunaNet Technique The definition of integrated HunaNet technique is the practice of setting decoys in a production environment to entice interaction from attackers. The practice of setting decoys in a production environment to entice interaction from attackers. Standalone HunaNet Technique The definition of standalone HunaNet technique is an environment created for the purpose of attracting attackers and eliciting their behaviors that is not connected to any production enterprise systems. An environment created for the purpose of attracting attackers and eliciting their behaviors that is not connected to any production enterprise systems. Deceive tactic. Decoy object technique. Decoy file technique. The definition of decoy file technique is a file created for the purposes of deceiving an adversary. A file created for the purposes of deceiving an adversary. Decoy network resource technique. The definition of decoy network resource technique is deploying a network resource for the purposes of deceiving an adversary. Deploying a network resource for the purposes of deceiving an adversary. Decoy persona technique. The definition of decoy persona technique is establishing a fake online identity to misdirect, deceive, and or interact with adversaries. Establishing a fake online identity to misdirect, deceive, and or interact with adversaries. Decoy public release technique. The definition of decoy public release technique is issuing publicly released media to deceive adversaries. Issuing publicly released media to deceive adversaries. Decoy session token technique. The definition of decoy session token technique is an authentication token created for the purposes of deceiving an adversary. An authentication token created for the purposes of deceiving an adversary. Decoy user credential technique. The definition of decoy user credential technique is a credential created for the purpose of deceiving an adversary. A credential created for the purpose of deceiving an adversary. Evict tactic. Process eviction technique. Process termination technique. The definition of process termination technique is terminating a running application process on a computer system. Terminating a running application process on a computer system. Evict tactic. Credential eviction technique. Account locking technique. The definition of account locking technique is the process of temporarily disabling user accounts on a system or domain. The process of temporarily disabling user accounts on a system or domain. Authentication cache and validation technique. The definition of authentication cache and validation technique is removing tokens or credentials from an authentication cache to prevent further user associated account accesses. Removing tokens or credentials from an authentication cache to prevent further user associated account accesses. That concludes this audiobook. Please subscribe and like for more content.